Hi, I'm Bruce, and almost a year ago we quit the rat race and began our homesteading journey. This week we thought was going to be a bit of a boring one, shoveling stone and finishing some odd jobs. That was until we found the last thing you would expect to find in the west of Ireland. Stay till the end to see what we end up doing with our unexpected discovery, and if you haven't already, it would be great if you could subscribe and become part of our ever-growing community. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, this week's going to be a lot of tying up odds and ends really before getting on with the workshop and then basically sticking with the workshop until it's sealed up, has doors in it and maybe some windows as well. So uh, for those of you that know me now, know that I normally have a lot of jobs on the go at once and this is one of many, the paths and drainage around the polytunnel and up to the compost lane. I've been left by myself today, so I'm going to crack on shoveling some stone. Okay, so I ran out of batteries and stone, so I'm in the polytunnel now with Annie and I actually thought it was a perfect opportunity to ask our YouTube community for some help. I know some of you are far more experienced growers than us, and so let us know in the comments. I'm going to hand you over to Annie now. So, the problem that we seem to have is that we started these tomatoes from seed in January very keen I know on a propagator and we've only just switched the propagator off so I know it's not a frost situation but they're not very tall and not very strong and they're going to flower really early which in my ex limited experience of growing tomatoes isn't what they should be doing now um, I've done quite a bit of research and I think I need to nip off the flowers to encourage more stem and root growth. But if you know <laughs> what I should do, then please leave it in the comments because I'm really at a bit of a loss. Um, you might think oh, it's because they're in really small pots, but we have actually planted some out over there and the same thing's happening. So I'm gonna add some seaweed compost and coffee grounds and pinch the flowers out. But we feel like maybe it's possible that we were too keen and we planted them a bit too early, didn't we? Yeah. Also, maybe you might say there's actually nothing wrong with them, um, uh, which one of our friends has said, give it time and they'll grow. But pretty sure I saw another friend of mine's and they looked much bigger than mine. <laughs> anyway, off to the quarry to get some stone. Meanwhile, me and Mum are planting some courgettes. Courgettes. Squishy 
Well done. That'll do. Goodbye. Okay, back from the quarry with the stone. Hopefully the last load now. And uh, I'm going to pop you guys into the polytunnel because it's a bit drizzly and I don't want to get my camera wet. I need to actually build like a little house to put the camera in for when the weather's not doing too well. So uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want to see the same angle of me unloading a trailer full of stone. So I'm just going to crack on through the rain. I'm going to catch you when the rain stops. Uh, in other news, found this little budgie outside <laughs> by the polytunnel. That's insane. It's not something you see every day. Is it a budgie? I don't yeah, know. it's definitely, yeah, I it's it's budgie, definitely yeah. not from Ireland. A budgie. Smart, isn't it? So, <laughs> very strange turn of events. I was just uh, out by the polytunnel and I could hear a bird, which isn't unusual in itself. I've heard lots of birds, but this just seemed a bit different. And then I just looked down to my left, saw a very colourful looking thing, and found this little budgie. It obviously belongs to somebody. So I just brought it in and given it some seed. And I guess I'll have to try and find who its owner is. So, making a makeshift budgie house out of the cat's cage. What do you call this? Carry cage? I don't know. Uh, lock the cats out. Oh, it's on the drawing! <laughs> the drum! It's like loads of instruments! <laughs> Where's the is he? Yeah, go on, answer it. So anyway, this will be home tonight. Okay, much nicer day today. So going to be getting on with shoveling some storm as they say around here. But uh, this little budgie is actually the best. Becoming a little bit attached. Comes and just like lands on your head. The kids are a little bit beside. <laughs> oh yeah, it preened on your head, Dad. That means it likes you. I knew it did. He knows, I rescued him. Anyway, we've temporarily named him Disco. Just quickly before I go outside, uh, I wanted to show you this. So our neighbour Tom Barry um, gave us an organic method for keeping the cabbage whites off our brassicas. And that is to make a diluted spray uh, using a clove of garlic. And I can't actually quite remember the ratio, but we're going to do that now. Because the cabbage whites are hanging around our polytunnel like a bad smell. It's going to be loads. Is it? Yeah, 90 grams of garlic. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Now we have to leave it overnight to steep. <laughs> well done. You are YouTube material, mate. <laughs>
So while I'm shoveling all this stone, you might be wondering what Annie's doing. And I'm going to show you now. What are you doing, Em? I am pickaxing this soil to loosen it up so I can cover the potatoes that are coming through. Okay. Um, yeah, to encourage more potatoes, I think, is the reason. Okay. Cue time lapse making you look very fast. The lazy bed trenches nearly finished me off. <laughs> I managed one and Bruce came to help me with the other. Now I'm going to cook dinner with stuff from the polytunnel. Polytunnel. That's all right. We uh, know what you mean. Um, also, I'm not going to cook the salad, but I'm going to make dinner from the polytunnel. And cut. See you guys tomorrow. There you go. I just wanted to say a massive thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel and a special thanks to Keith and family for helping me source some bits for the farm and workshop. A big thank you to Connor and family for sorting Disco the Budgie with a cage and a companion. Since the original owner hasn't come forward, we've decided to welcome him to the family. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it would be great if you could subscribe. <laughs>